Hey guys, my name is Shai and I'm not prepared to start recording this because my camera just turned on by itself, but I'm going to take that as a sign to just <laughs> forge ahead. But first I need that drink I was going to have. <laughs> okay. I set up the camera really quick just because I wanted to see if I can get this to stay focused. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to just jot down my morning, so to speak. I'm finding making these little video diaries, I guess that's why they call them vlogs, very useful for me personally in terms of, you know, working through my stuff and also just the energetic process of releasing it all and leveling up and moving on. So I'm recording this on February 12th of 2022. We just had the third and final, you know, of this round Mercury and Pluto conjunction. And this morning I pulled the death card, just like the last time I made a video like this a few days ago. And I was like, hmm, what am I going to be releasing today, right? What am I going to release today? I found myself in a bit of a stew, all of a sudden, an energetic emotional stew, thinking about a particular person in my life who is in my life in order to teach me to experience forgiveness and unconditional love, right? And I have trouble, I have had trouble in the past experiencing love for this person because they have harmed someone I love when this person that I love was a child and they continue to hurt this person even as an adult. So that has made it difficult for me to expand my bowl of non-judgment uh, to include this person. And um, even after I did manage to hold non-judgment for them, I still found out this morning that I, I, I was not able to really feel proper, <laughs> unconditional love for them, right? And again, it was an Abraham Hicks video that kind of clued me in to a trick. And that's the reason I'm sharing this. That's what I want to actually document, so to speak. I just, I feel like the energetic process of just like recording this in a video, even if I don't post it, it's like recording it, writing it down, making it a thing that, that helps it solidify. It helps me embody it. So what Abraham Hicks said was, when you look at somebody that you hate, basically, when you look at someone you hate, instead of just looping your anger at them, think, what does your inner being feel about them? What does your inner be being feel about them? That's the language Abraham Hicks uses. So I was like, that obviously is a really good idea. <laughs> so I sat there and I was like, okay, what does source feel about this person, right? And of course, there's only one answer to that source feels love for this person, right? Source loves this person. Source is unconditionally loving for this person. And source doesn't see any difference between that person and me, <laughs> right? There's just unconditional love for all. And then of course I was like, well, duh, right? <laughs> well, duh. And so I really sat with this and I found that I could feel, you know, source energy like flowing through me like through my back into my heart out through my heart and towards this person and that was the first time that uh i was actually able to feel love for this person flowing through me so from me through me to them i wasn't just mentalizing non-judgment i wasn't just mentally holding the idea of unconditional love for them which were important places to start and it was good that i got there but it's being able to actually click into the source perspective and like send unconditional love through me to them was, you know, it was good for me. <laughs> That's the, at the end of the day, the point in doing all of this, right? It is good for me. Uh, it's good for us when we do this. It's good for us when we do this. Um, as opposed to, you know, of course you can think about the bigger picture about how it's good for the planet and for them and for everybody and for all of that. But really, just like when you forgive someone, it, it helps you, right? You do it for, do it for yourself if, if, if you can't do it for any, anyone else. So if you're watching this and this is kind of resonating, of course, you can use your own language, right? 
What does God, goddess, feel for this person? How does the creator, the universe, the universal consciousness feel for this person? How do the angels feel about this person, right? How does your soul feel about this person? Maybe it's a group of people on the planet, right? It's just whoever it is and you feel like you can't just, you, you know, we've, we've, we've all got that line. We've all got somebody or some group or some action when we look at and we say, I can't figure out how to unconditionally love and forgive that because, because they harm others, right? Because they harm others. That's where we all get hung up. So for me, that's what did it. How does Source feel about this person? Source unconditionally loves this person and does not actually see any difference between me and them. And as you might be able to tell, I'm pretty emotionally wrung out. <laughs> I had, I had, you know, I had to cry and have my health myself the whole time. But then my guide sent me on a very long walk in the, around the neighborhood with my dog and it was sunny and beautiful. And I feel a massive sense of relief and I feel very good. I'm just kind of tired. So I'm going to veg out for the rest of the day. And that's all I have to say. <laughs> so I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.